Hi guys. I got a very exciting video. Um, this is my Funko Pop haul for today from Hot Topic. Um, I saw someone posting it up uh, about Sunday, uh, so a few days before my birthday, and I was like, I gotta go. So I went Saturday, or I went, no, it was Saturday. I saw Saturday night going to Sunday night that someone was at Hot Topic and they got both Lelou's and something else. So I had to go to Hot Topic Sunday and I went there to like three different Hot Topics. They didn't have them. They kind of were not that helpful to me. I asked them about when are you guys going to get these in? They're like, well, whenever they come in. I was like, well, that's not helpful to me. So uh, I saw someone today on this uh, uh, Facebook page called Funko World and someone posted and I was like, okay, I'll give it another chance. So I went to uh, Hot Topic and I picked up all seven Fifth Element Funko Pop. I got me the Corbin Dallas Lilu Multi Pass, the Zorg Lilu with the straps, uh, Ruby Rod, the Mangalore, and the Diva. Um, and I'm very happy with each one of them. Um, there is a little bit of some, you know, scuff on them, the, the paint job they did, but overall, amazing. Um, and then I also, I wasn't going to include this in the video because it's mainly Fifth Element, but I also got the Exorcist Funko Pop. I actually pre-ordered this back on um, Amazon back in the day because they were supposedly supposed to get it back in August. So I'm going to have to go and cancel my order. I like how they have the vomit right there. I seen a Chucky, that was Hot Top exclusive, that had the blood splatter, and I'm probably going to look to get that. I have Chucky already. And... I also got this, the Freddy Cougar Hot Topic exclusive. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, but anyways, it's about the fifth element. I grew up with this, like I've mentioned in my other uh, video, and I played the game. And I even have the movie. I have the movie right here, the fifth element. Uh, I even have it on P UMD, but I can't find it for the PSP. Um, and then, of course, I have the game. Uh, this isn't the original case, unfortunately. I was so disappointed that it wasn't, but it was Fifth Element nonetheless. Now, this game does suck. I will agree on that, but it's still Fifth Element. It's as close as you're going to get to playing a Fifth Element game. I actually got pretty far, and I showed it on my PlayStation 1 video um, where I had uh, did a accidentally turned it on but um i actually got pretty far on that than i did on my on playing on my ps3 because on my ps3 and my ps3 is a backwards compatible the fat one so i was able to play that's why i played this on um and i did play on my original ps1 i don't have that anymore um but unlike the one i have now that i don't open um but you know i rented it from blockbuster from back in the day and i didn't get too far because it's how i was the controls were pretty bad they are very bad trying to move on that game was just horrific but uh yeah so i'm just so pumped to actually have all seven fifth element uh funko pop i kind of was hoping they would do a little bit more like um like do the priest i don't know i guess because he kind of was a main character in, the, in his own way or um I guess that's really it. The priest is for me. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Yeah, I guess that's it. The priest, because everyone else is basically the main character. Um, but yeah, let's look at some of these Funko Pop real quick. Like this one. This is the one I looked for. I was freaking out because I, I didn't see it at a uh, Hot Topic. But it doesn't even say Lilu multi pass, but it is there with their multi pass. Let's see if I can get a close up in there. Sorry, adjust it real quick. A little bit more. Uh, 
I guess that's as close as I'm going to get to it. But I don't plan on opening these things. These things I don't open. I leave them the way they are. The only one I ever opened was the group that I originally got. But if you had noticed on there, the paint job, it's all right. They still didn't put the right paint on her stomach area. They put the white paint on there, even though her shirt's white, but not the same tone color. And it's a little bit paint job, but it's overall, I don't care. It's the element. Can't go wrong with that. And then Zorg with his amazing gun. I'm glad they made him have his gun. Um, pretty awesome. Compared to what it looks like on here. So that's pretty cool. And then the diva. She is the I think anyone who's ever watched the fifth element is gonna agree that the diva scene is probably the best scene in the whole movie. Um I know um I watched it over and over. I especially have I have the soundtrack to the whole fifth element. Um there are some songs on there that are kind of weird, but the rest is just, um, okay. But like the main one is that diva part when the last, it's the very last part when she gets going and she just starts going. That's when, that, when Lilu's in the background fighting the Mangalore and trying to stay alive. Uh, best scene ever. I like the fact that, you know, McDonald's was in there. That was pretty cool. Um, now like, unlike the game, the game was kind of different. The game kind of did follow the movie in its own way, but. It had it to where they had to make it a little bit different to where they, they're they breaking Corbin Dallas out of jail. I, that was kind of weird. Like I said, I didn't get too far, so I don't know like what else they did to the game. But even like the robots, they had some robots in there that were kind of different. Um, so if you guys ever played that, um, be out, just be aware of that. That it's kind of not exactly to the movie's point, even though they have clips of the movie in there. And this is back in PS1 day, so the, it's kind of like choppy looking. Um, but I am so very happy. You know, I wish I would have been more happy if I got on my birthday, like I was saying with the last Funko Pop video that I made. Or, yeah, I guess that was probably like my second Funko Pop video that I made. So um, I'm going to probably keep making these. Well, I don't know, because I kind of I, I all tired out of Funko Pop right now because I got all the ones I want. I got my Beavis and Butthead. I got my... You know, Sonic the Hedgehog ones, the, and then, but I will be doing, I will be getting the Back to the Future ones for October 21st, 2015. So I can do, I'm going to be doing, on that day, I'm going to be doing a whole thing of um, Back to the Future stuff. Um, hopefully the power issues come in. If they come, if they um, release them through the web, I'll make sure to get it the day. I know I'm going to have the, the special collector's edition uh, trilogy set. For the 30th anniversary. I also have the 25th anniversary. So I'll show that off too in the video. When I make that. So. And I got some hoverboard things from. Uh, I think it was called Entertainment Earth. So. Um, I'll be showing those off. I got them back in August. But I didn't want to do a video. Because I wanted to wait till October 21st. So Wednesday, October 21st. Be on the lookout for probably about. Maybe 10, 15 videos. I don't know. I'll see how much stuff I get. I do plan to get a lot though. So. And I'm on vacation that week just for the Back to the Future. So let me know if you guys are Back to the Future fans. So, but anyways, Fifth Element, amazing. Um, I always I always want them to make another one, like a reboot or um, make kind of a sequel. If not, make a, they could probably even do make a, a 3D release it in like a, you know, with CGI. So the whole movie CGI, that would be cool. Have all the actors come back and just do their roles. Um, but I, I love the movie. I, I'll watch it over and time again. I'll never get bored of it. I, you know, bada boom, that, that never gets old. Um, and sometimes I, I rewatch it and I watch every scene kind of like slow just to see if I miss anything that I didn't see the before. But, alright guys, hopefully you like this video. Um, 
I know I am a very ha happy person right now. Um, Alright. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.